We're not worthy, man. We're not worthy. Welcome, guys. And I just finished the interview at the Naruto exhibit. Well, there was a piece of interview that Kishimoto Sensei and Oda Sensei themselves were sitting, you know, next to each other. And they were given, they interviewed, basically. Both of them were in this interview. And such great stuff to hear from the senseis from here, from the Naruto creator and Kishimoto, and from the One Piece creator, Oda. God, man, it, it was a great read because you just feel when you read it, the rivalry, the friendly rivalry, how they are good friends, but they're rivals at the same time. And it shows in their work. It's like that epic. It felt like it was it felt like Naruto was talking. It felt like Luffy was talking. It just felt that way. Now you can read this interview yourself at Saiyan Island. They always have great information for you guys. This is just my thoughts on reading this whole thing. I absolutely enjoyed it. I, I just think these two, it bleeds out friendship. It brings out, you know, when they first came up, you know, Oda had two years on Kishimoto, but Kishimoto saw Oda as basically a sensei and saw him as, you know, the big thing, the guy that he has to beat, that he's he has, Naruto needs to beat One Piece. And basically Oda pretty much saying, you know, he was laughing like, you know, I hate it when he called me sensei because we're pretty much we're the same age. So it, it just felt a little weird. It definitely uh, you could also see, you know, them teasing each other and honest with brute honesty from Oda to Kishimoto. And Kishimoto says, yeah, you know, what? you're right. I absolutely just love the friendship and the rivalry that's going on here. I mean, One Piece is huge in Japan. There's a documentary. I don't know what the name is, but it is huge. I mean, they go crazy for One Piece. It is not a fluke that One Piece is probably one of the greatest mangas of all time, one of the greatest, uh, it's so great in Japan. I mean, Naruto is huge as well, but as One Piece, it's not close to One Piece. You know, what we view Dragon Ball Z over here is what they view about One Piece over there. And it's great to hear the influential, uh, the influential of both, you know, creators of their work and stuff, especially with Kishimoto. I knew, of course, Dragon Ball Z was one of the big influences. You see that in his storytelling. You see he liked the idea of when Goku grew up and pretty much, you know, he went from boy to a man. That's always a coming of age story. He liked that idea. He absolutely, and I knew, I always said it when I either reviewed or I talked to somebody about it. You see the influence in Akira. Akira is just one of the, I think, I don't think it's overrated at all. I think it stands the test of time. You read that manga, it is so beautiful. And I think Sasuke is a lot like Tetsuo and that rivalry there, that friendship. They're not... They consider each other brothers, but not really. You know, they're rivals. They're definitely rivals, and they definitely have that spark there. So I think Akira, and there's a lot of themes in Akira. And if you saw Kishimoto's like kind of mafioso type manga he wanted to do, it has like the same kind of design, and it has like it looks like Tetsuo as the main character. So I always wanted him to go back to that if he wasn't going to do Naruto no more. But just great stuff. I absolutely loved. Also, when Kishimoto talked about one of the arcs that, or one of the characters that he loves from One Piece, and that's Chopper and Chopper's backstory. Because I'm gonna let you go, guys, right now. The reason why I do not review One Piece is not because I don't want to. It's because I fully haven't read all the chapters from One Piece. So I don't want a true reviewer, a true fan goes from chapter one all the way to the present. I've read I read the recent arts and stuff. I've it took me a while to get into it because, you know, the art style and this and that and the anime as well. I just could never get into One Piece. I'm. Like I said, I'm making a video to explain why that is. But now I am definitely, I'm at chapter, I believe, uh, 4, 415, 415. Dude, uh, I don't know if you can see this on the screen. Uh, it's Mon Manga Search. Three weeks, I've gone from chapter 1 to 400. I'm going to read every chapter until I get to the present so I could review One Piece. Because that's what a true reviewer does. If, if you're not, don't bullshit and just go half ass and say, I'll start from here. You got to start from the beginning. So I decided to start from the beginning. And I got to say, as a guy, a man who basically couldn't get into it, and a lot of people say, try it, try it, try it, and still couldn't get into it. I finally got into it. I finally realized why One Piece is one of the greatest manga of all time. Because even at 400, I'm saying, 
This manga is beast. This manga is so good with rich stories and character. But I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but it's all about Kishimoto and Oda and their friendship and a rivalry. Absolutely just love this interview. It's such a great interview. Read it yourself. Check it out. I think uh, it's definitely... It's def- it definitely showcases what these manga artists have to go through, what these you know authors have to go through. It's no cakewalk. Even Kishimoto and Oda says, you know, Oda tells them like, don't take a rest, you know, keep going because you know if you take a rest, you're gonna feel, you know, you're gonna feel kind of shitty. And that's what these manga they're so hard working, they're so dedicated to their work. They don't take breaks. They constantly try to go, go, go. If they're sick, they try to go through the sickness. If they're in pain, like a slip disc, you try to get through the pain. I mean, I respect both these two. These Both these two, I mean, were influenced by other stuff. I mean, you see the influence in their work. But they created something that everybody can enjoy. Now, the big issue, I think, for Neverworld touched on it as well. I haven't seen that video yet. Was, is One Piece, uh, why, you know, he, Oda says himself that Naruto crossed over to the foreign market, especially America. It crossed over where One Piece has struggled to cross over here for many, many years. I'll probably cover that once I get done with all the chapters of One Piece and I'm able to review it and then I can able to really judge why that is and get all the facts. But uh, I can see why Oda would say that and I can see why uh, Naruto is so popular in foreign countries while uh, One Piece is definitely a huge market at, in Japan. So... Thank you guys for listening. Check it out yourself. I'll have it in my description uh, link. Read it. Such a good stuff. If you're a big fan of One Piece, if you're a big fan of Naruto, and you're a big fan of these two legends, <laughs> they don't like to be called legends, but they're legends, man, then read it and check it out. You'll enjoy it. Uh, subscribe, like, have more videos on the way. So great stuff, man. I, I'm very influenced by these two as well, and I'm very uh, I'm very happy what they brought. And Kishimoto, thank you for Naruto. Oda, One Piece, I'm loving every chapter. I got to get back to it, honestly, so...